This video will guide you through the installation of Cardinal Scale Manufacturing Company's Armor Series Model EPR Truck Scale. The legendary Armor Truck Scale has been on the market since 1997 and undergone continuous improvement every year since. It offers the most efficient installation of any full-length Cardinal Truck Scale. Begin the installation by verifying that the foundation has been properly constructed, meets local and state requirements, and that the conduit, coping angles, and bumper angle assemblies are all correctly located in accordance with the Cardinal Scale Certified Foundation Drawings. The tops of the concrete piers must be smooth and within one quarter inch of the same plane. It is helpful to snap a chalk line on the piers to aid in alignment of the Weybridge's load cell stands. Make sure the measurements listed on the accompanying plans are used to ensure a smooth installation. Before lifting the Weybridges, please make absolutely certain that all appropriate safety procedures are closely followed and that the crane has sufficient capacity to safely lift each Weybridge. Never walk or reach beneath a suspended Weybridge. Failure to follow proper safety procedures may result in injury or death. Begin by lowering the end waybridge, which is section 1 and 2, into place. Make sure the waybridge is properly aligned, since this will make installing the remaining waybridges easier. Remember to allow 1 inch of clearance between the waybridge and the concrete approach ramp. Next, install the intermediate waybridge, making certain that the lip of the intermediate bridge fits snugly over the receiving brackets in the end waybridge. Once the intermediate waybridge is securely in place, you may then install the final waybridge. This third waybridge must have the same 1 inch clearance between the waybridge and concrete approach as the initial waybridge. Continue by loosening the bolts holding the load cell stand shipping brackets in place, allowing the load cell stands to be adjusted. Remove the rods from each plate. It may be necessary to use a power drill or cheater bar if the bolts holding them in place cannot be loosened easily. Install all of the check bolts into their appropriate sockets and tighten their jam nuts, allowing for 1 4 inch clearance between the check bolt and bumper plate. If the check bolts are not adjusted correctly, damage to the load cells and or the waybridge may occur. The side check bumper bolts should also be installed at this time in the same manner. Load cell cables are located on top of each load cell stand. Uncoil the load cell cables and run them through their appropriate internal conduit to the central junction box that is located in the intermediate waybridge. If you are using fish tape, it is recommended that you first fish a length from the load cell to the junction box and connect it to a second line, which is pulled back to the load cell before finally attaching the load cell cable and running it. Doing it in this way eliminates the possibility of hanging up on any snags in the system from running the cable through by itself. Holes must be drilled for the load cell stand bolts. Ensure that the load cell stands are level and in their correct positions before installing the load cell stand bolts. During calibration, it may become necessary to adjust the height of the load cell stands so the load is properly shared among the load cells. After all of the load cell stands have been correctly positioned, tighten the load cell stand base plate bolts and bumper bolts firmly. Then verify that the scale is properly located laterally and longitudinally. After all of the load cell cables have been run to the center waybridge cavity, they may be connected to the internal junction box. This box will run the home run cable to the indicator for the scale. It is important to follow proper instructions for wiring the cables. Please refer to the wiring diagram accompanying the scale and to the owner's manual for the weight indicator used. If your scale was ordered with side rails, they must be installed prior to calibration. The side rails will install easily with no bolts to tighten. Simply slide them into place in the brackets alongside each waybridge section. For this installation, a test cart was used to calibrate the truck scale. The test cart or test truck should be driven across the scale a few times in each direction before calibration begins to ensure the scale is settled. Check the calibration of the scale using certified test weights. If it becomes necessary to make calibration adjustments, follow the instructions provided. 
Like all truck scales, Cardinal's Armor Series truck scale requires routine maintenance to keep it working at maximum efficiency and performance. For more information about Cardinal's Armor truck scales, please call 1-800-441-4237 or visit us online at www.cardinalscale.com. Cardinal Scale has been building a better way since 1950.